Good morning, students and staff. It's Ms. Cahalan, one of your assistant principals here, filling in for Mr. Carlson this week with announcements. Just to remind you that our theme this month is commitment to learning, and our word of the week is dedication. And we've got a couple fifth grade student leaders that are going to demonstrate what the word dedication means. Take it away, kids. Hi, I'm Seth from 5AG. Hi, I'm Jack Wallace from 5AG. Wow. You're really dedicated to that drawing, aren't you? What does that mean? Dedicated means to be really committing to something. Like if you were dedicated to basketball, then you'd probably practice really hard. Well, I guess I really am dedicated to this amazing drawing. Next up on our announcements, we have box top winners. As a school, we collected 35,000 box tops, which means it, we will be getting $3,500 for those box tops. And our winning classrooms for the popcorn party, kindergarten is Mrs. Eason's class, first grade is Miss Fish's class, second grade, Miss Pierfelice, third grade, Mr. Erdman's, fourth grade, Mrs. Kirsten, and fifth grade, Mrs. Heilman's class. So, Miss Mrs. Elder will be getting a hold of the teachers to arrange the popcorn parties. Congratulations to those classes and congratulations to us as a school for collecting so many box tops. Next up, just a reminder, Culver's Night is coming up Tuesday, February 7th, and that's from 4 to 8 p.m. in the evening. And we also have conferences coming up starting next week, too. For your families. Next up we have our kids of character this week. So our first kid of character is Ekavar. Come on up Ekavar. Ekavar is in Miss Perry's first grade class, right? Yes. And here's what Mrs. Perry has to say. Ekavar shows he is committed to learning every day by coming to school ready to tackle the day's learning challenges. Whether it's learning new vocabulary words, Comprehension strategies, math strategies, are taking chances with his writing. He looks for ways to practice and extend his learning. Ekavar is motivated to do his best and sets a great example for our class of what determination and hard work look like. Sounds like you're really dedicated to your learning, Ekavar. Congratulations. And here's your award. All right. Congratulations. Keep up the good work. Next up, we have Alana Williams. Alana Williams is in third grade, Mr. Scheller's class. Mm -hmm. All right. And Mr. Scheller um, nominated you for a Kids of Character Award, and here's what he says. Alana was chosen by her classmates as a third grader who is wild about learning. They noticed her effort when things are difficult. They mentioned how positive she is about learning something new or starting a new unit. Her classmates also see that Alana is someone who is always kind to others and willing to help in any way possible. Her teacher, Mrs. Scheller, totally agrees. Alana is one student you can count on to always do her best. Congratulations, Alana. Sounds like you're Thank dedicated you. to being a kind and caring student here in Knoxville, and we appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. All right, and our final one is Bailey Dan. Bailey is in fifth grade and is in Mrs. Heilman's class, right? All right. And Mrs. Heilman nominated you for the Kids of Character Award, and this is what she said. In fifth grade math, a student has to show all their thinking by writing down each step of a math problem. If they show their work for all the problems and get them all correct, they can earn a four on their math test. Bailey did a fantastic job of showing her work on the last math test, and she got... 100%. That means you've got them all right. Congratulations. So she earned a four. Way to go, Bailey. Way to be dedicated to doing well on your math, Bailey. Congratulations. Thank you. All right. Great kids of character this week. All right. So stay dedicated to a cause or a purpose or something that's meaningful for you this week. <laughs>
Next up, just some calendar reminders about I Love to Read Month. February, we always celebrate I Love to Read Month. And you have your bingo boards from our PTO that you're working on. And Pajama Day is coming up February 17th. So everybody, no need to get dressed that morning. Go ahead and wear your pajamas to school. And then on the 16th, or the 15th, 16th, and 17th of this month is the book collection for the book swap that is on Books and Bagels. Books and Bagels will be the 22nd and 23rd. So on the 15th, 16th, and 17th, you'll bring in your books and exchange them for tickets to exchange at the book swap when Books and Bagels is going on on the 22nd and 23rd. All right? Next up, it's the jokes. Now, the first one, come on in kids, see if you get these. There's one of them that's tough. I didn't get it at first. What kind of phone gets sold the most? A cell phone. Oh, get it? A cell, like kind of cell phone? A cell phone. And that was by Laura Streeter. All right, here we go. What do you call a square tree? I think I remember seeing this on the board in the second grade wing. All right, second graders, what do you call a square tree? Respond in your class while you're watching these. I bet you know that. It's a geometry. Get it? Geometry is part of math, so it's a geometry. All right, here's a real good one. I hope you're ready for it. In the winter, my dog wears his coat. In the summer, he wears his coat and pants. Did you get it? He wears his coat and pants, like, <laughs> pants, like the dog pants. Oh. <laughs> Isn't that funny? And that was from Miss Jocelyn in the office. So, first time I read it, I didn't get it either. So, then, then they helped me out. All right, students and staff, have a great week.